All right, uh, welcome everyone. It's uh, been a while since we've done a cast, but we're we've got PU ladder tour going on, so we're back for a few more today. I have um, drilled with me for at least the first game, anyway. Maybe, maybe we'll see what happens with the rest. We'll but, uh, see. Thanks very much for joining us, Drud. Much appreciated. Uh, Glad so, to be on here. This game here, PU Ladder Tour, as we mentioned, this is the second round. Uh, it's a uh, fish anemometer. An anemometer. I can never get that right. Yeah, I do not know how to pronounce that. I just say fish. Yeah, I've always I've always just said fish. I still don't know what anemometer means. But um, yeah, we have fish anyway up against Togki. Uh, Fish, a uh, PU council member, and Togki kind of hangs around the tier. Uh, she played SVPU in PUPL, so she should be more or less up to date with what's going on. So this should be a very interesting set. Joe, uh, you haven't seen that much of current gen PU, have you? No, not really. I I mean, I watched it in PUPL, but like now DLC dropped and yeah. things are different. Like there's a Cliff Fairy, there's a knockoff stun thing, so I mean, yeah. it's pretty different now. I think the big thing we'll see is just everything gets knockoff now. Um, and so we saw that turn one with the knockoff skunk, which is a huge addition for for that. And I think it's also why Swallow's so good now, which we see Togki using because it's one of the few Pokemon that's able to maintain its item. As yeah, we... people are already adapting to the new uh, knockoff distribution. Yeah. Uh, as we see the same thing again on Persian, one of the Pokemon that got knockoff. It's interesting. Oh wow! Well. Foul play. Uh, it's like Gone Komalo. Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder what the calc is like on that. Because if that was a max attack Kamala, I don't think that foul play crit actually matters. Um, yeah, yeah probably not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you would go into it and like stay in if he was max attack, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Persian putting in overtime right now. Yeah, it's it kind of it's the Persian thing when you've got all the right moves on it, it does really well. <clears throat> it's got all the right moves for this matchup. Um, I'm kind of surprised to see that Fish isn't using his gun tank to kind of deal with this. I guess the worry is that they just get a free party and shot out into Swallow, but it being boot Swallow, yeah, oh. it can't really come in that easily. And you do have a Haunter for this if you want to use it. That's true. I get the Toxic here. Rocks probably go up here. Uh, I do like both of these teams. Toxic yeah. is like more defensive oriented. Fish is more offensive. As we see the Avalok just sit on the pilot spot and take an EQ. Yeah, that's, that's pretty so crazy. Yeah, I don't can, know. I, can I would... Palooza touch this? Sorry? Uh, no. Yeah, can't too much. Uh, apparently not. Um, um, I like, I'd, I'd like to see Fish use their Haunter a bit more, is what I'm kind of looking at. It seems like one of his best ways to pressure Togki's team, but... He He's not making a lot of much. progress. He's not making a lot of progress no. right now. That he's a defensive Alusa, one set that's kind of oh, yeah. popped up a little bit recently. Okay. Defensive Rocky Helmet, very fun set since it's got so a turn. This one's kind of slow. I thought it'd be fast, but uh... yeah, it's a bit slower than you think. Um, and this set kind of appeared to mainly to deal with Taurus Paldea when it was in the tier. Um, I haven't actually uh, seen yeah. it since then, but it's cool to see fish getting usage out of it. As we see, the Avalok loses its boots, but uh, it's not a huge deal when it can just continuously spin on the pilot swine. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, probably not going to take rocks damage anyway. Yeah. I kind I wonder what the uh, the last move on Avalok is because we're assuming rapid spin recover body press. Normally they'd run crunch in that last slot, uh, which should allow it to pressure the Valusa a bit. Crunch strong jaw. Uh, oh yeah. But seems like he's running something different anyway or she's running something yeah otherwise different. he yeah otherwise he would have probably already clicked it yeah uh, is she going to spin
in here, she just spins it away, not fearing the haunter coming in. I, I can understand Fish not bringing in the haunter because of how good it is this game, but at the same time, it's so good this game and it's just sat in the back the entire yeah, time. Yeah, I think, I think he has to use it more yeah. aggressively. As we see the sub Hurricane Charizard miss. Uh, this isn't going to be breaking Clefairy anyway, though. Yeah, you're right. We see the sub, maybe he's trying to sub into Blaze range. Probably, yeah. But... Or maybe he was just scouting t a T-Wave. If you're Tugkey, I think there's an argument for clicking T-Wave here if you have it. Uh, on the Skunk coming in. I mean, that's good damage either way. Yeah, it is. It's fine. good damage. Uh, interesting to see that the, the Skunk isn't Boots, though. I wonder what oh, it is yeah. in that case. It might be Helmet. Yeah, I was about to say, probably a helmet then. I'm guessing Fish was looking to get the Toxic Spikes down on a Swallow coming in so it could pressure whatever was coming in after that, but Tauki just goes straight into the Avalog, preventing that. Yeah. And Didn't exactly work ball. out. Hmm. Sorry, it comes back in. I, if you're Fish, I'm not really sure how you're planning on breaking this team. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I don't even know what that move is. No, I I have seen it before on this, but I, I'm going to have to slash DT it to get a better idea. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just did the same. Ice 100 base. Yeah, I guess it's fair. Um, so obviously it's not crunch then, which means, which is why it wasn't pressure in the Veluza. Um, yep. Which makes sense. But Mountain Gale would still kill Haunter in one shot anyway. Yeah, you're right. I think Electrode can probably just like close this game out now pretty yeah, easily. Electrode should be able to solo. I think the, the Avalog was just allowed to do too much damage to this team. And yeah, you're Fish right. Fish doesn't really have any way to make that up now. I'm curious to see what Swallow has for Haunter here. Oh, it, it's knockoff, yeah. Oh, this, this also has knockoff. I actually oh, forgot this got knockoff. That's that's my fault then. As we see it EQs the skunk. And we should just see the Trode clean up here. You save this, yeah. Yeah, this is just good. a done deal at this point. We haven't seen a terror yet. Some maybe a specific terror out of the Veluza. Oh, no, there it is. It. Terror dark. We probably see a flip turn here. Haunter comes in. But I think even with that, you're not surviving two thunderbolts on the Veluza. Oh, my browser just crashed. Nope. Oh. All right. What did I miss? Oh, crit Shadow Ball onto the Persian. Uh, probably didn't matter anyway. Uh, yeah, probably not. Or actually, into a max HP Persian. That would have mattered. Actually, okay. But in the context of the game, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, happen. yeah, that, that's, what, that's more so what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Though, Taki will have a bit of a tough time killing this Veluza. Especially if Fish is able to crit one of these Psycho Cuts, which with the high crit chance yeah, should happen hope. eventually. Uh, but Togki does also have her terror available if she needs it. And I think that Mist Reavis should be able to beat the Veluza. I think so, and Electrode should still do a lot of damage to this. Yeah, I wonder what the Calcifier is. So just Trode. So Trode turning out of recovers. Oh, it can't? That's actually crazy. Damn, that monk kind of is bad. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if Togki should be looking at trying to tear the Swallow to get a Toxic off on this. Yeah, I could, I could see that, but... Um, um, if you're fish here, do you instant. recover a spam? Yeah, you do. Recover yeah, I guess you do. Recover spam flip turn into Haunter when you're going down from full. Yep. Um, you'll have to dodge a fair few Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt Paras here. Oh, only two recovers left actually. Yeah. 
it's hard to uh, outstall this when you barely out heal. I wonder if a psycho cop crit, crit can kill this from full. Oh, that's a flip turn. Yeah, so he does go for the flip turn to get the haunter in. Makes sense. Uh... Oh, oh, damn. That's tough. That is tough, wow. It would, he would have needed quite a high roll to get that, but... Oh, okay, yeah. Zero hits. Um, yeah, so Toki takes game one there. Interesting match. Uh, very interesting teams. I, like... Fish's team is kind of reminiscent of, like... Oris and you, Pylos fine builds, almost. Um, and then Toki with a very bulky team with the Avalog. Oh, game two already started. Game two's no. already in, yeah. So we see Taki this Ooh, time with the Pilot Swine build. And that Pilot Swine should... Hmm, that Pilot Swine will probably struggle into what's possibly a default girder. Yeah, first girder probably won't do that much. Um, oh, not for no one. Glagger probably gets... Oh, Taki spikes spikes. <laughs> That is pretty crazy. Good. So, at the very least, you're going to force a poison onto the Quaxwell. Gets the yep. rocks as well. Uh, as Girder comes in, we. Mm. Tough spot for Tug King now. Yeah, it's kind of awkward to switch in, yeah, too. It's kind of a free knock for fish. So, you're losing your Eviolite and Quaxwell here. And. But you do get to just remove the hazards at least. Unless we see a Terra Ghost come out here. Which I, I was about to say that, like, if a Terra Ghost, yeah. that's kind of. So that the problem is that it's. Mock Punch range. Though I wonder yeah, if this is Mock Punch. Okay, it okay, is. It which is. Means maybe it's not Defog, maybe it's not Bulk Up. When it sets up the, the T Spikes again, it's gonna yeah. be um, very hard to remove. Yeah. Oh, he... Oh, it does not I don't know opt about that. T spikes. I, I think you're better off getting T spikes there, especially seeing that it's leftovers carving. Yeah, I think you're right. And it... Quexel doesn't rapid spin on anything because yeah. all of Fish's mods yeah. outspeed it, so... I, I get wanting to pressure the Mischievous with the rocks, but... I feel like T spikes would benefit you more in this game. Oh, yeah, I agree. We do see the carving stay on the surf and get the uh, special attack drop. I'm guessing this is Garf Golduck. Probably Might as very a well be. sun countermeasure. Yeah, that would make sense. As uh, we see the carving come back in. Probably just. You can probably just click Moonblast here. I don't even know if you need to hazard mm. the rocks probably is, well, well this probably isn't the rocker it's probably rocks pile of spikes on this and i guess spikes are valuable for you into it means you get to see if the gold is scarf or boots and just getting that chip on the girder is nice yeah i think i think it's a fine click moonblast also fine moonblast i don't think it's like a wrong i don't think there was like a wrong option Oh, it's the Iron Defense, okay. Okay. So we're going to see a body press come out here then, we can assume. Oh, yep. as Persian comes in. It's a lot of damage. Not sure about that. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is going to do. Oh. Tricks. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I guess Persian isn't that valuable <laughs> for you this game. But yeah, I guess so. Um, well, he should be able to get three layers here. Yep. Nothing on Fish's team comes in and force, forces a kill from 48, I don't think. How much did Surf do? Yeah, Surf did 42. Yeah, so didn't do enough. Tucky gets free three layers here. Fish is going to go in to oh. threaten the defog. As he manages to catch the Persian coming in there. Uh, Carbon comes back in. Is it going to catch a knock off? It's not good. Oh, that's fish. yeah, that's good because now it's in mock range. Yeah. Girder is looking quite good here. Yeah, for sure. As we see the mischievous come in. 
uh, which I guess it can threaten with a shadow ball. I was kind of half expecting to see a Terra Fairy from that mischievous. Yeah, me too. Um, let's come back in. Nice Kirby. Where you'd really love to have your T spikes down. Yeah, I disagree with the rock skull. I um, guess maybe Fish is lucky that was lucky enough potentially having the defog later in the game, and so he wanted the immediate value from having rocks down as opposed to T spikes. Which I, um, I guess kind of see. I guess I could see that, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I still think T spikes would be more valuable to you. I agree. I think ice attack I think you just fire off an attack. I don't think you get that much value from rocks. Uh, at this stage just, the game. I mean, it's kind of thing is boots anyway. It's hard as boots. You got to resist rocks. I think you just go for the ice move here. Yeah. Uh, if you're fish here, it's not an easy spot. You don't want a hard gold duck because you do kind of need that, especially for the pyro. Oh. Knock off I did not expect knock. Yeah, it's not, I can see that. You know when an ice poop is coming out, nice hard read from fish. Uh, I think having Skuntink around would have been nice for the for the Missy. I do think so, yeah. Um, but I think you can potentially go Zard here and threaten the kill with your fire move. Yeah, that's looking pretty likely right now. Preserving the skunk tank. Around that way yeah. The only thing is, if Talki hard rocks here. Oh, no, sorry, your boot skunk, so you're fine anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think a Zard here would be fine. You don't. I guess it would be nice to preserve its full HP for a potential Terra Pyroar. Um, yeah, that's the thing, but I think you kind of have to keep going tank here. Yeah. Like, you should be able to deal with a Terra Pyroar with the combination of Golduck, Girder, and you hope Sucker Punch Skun Tank. Yeah. Um, mm. Assuming it's Terra Grass, anyway. Yeah, yeah, it should oh, be. Oh, I, I, really, I really don't know about that one. <laughs> That is pretty crazy. I think Zard was probably a safer line there. Yeah, I agree. I, I, mm, I think you want to keep your sucker punch. I well, also I think you really want to keep Skunk around for Missy. Is the big thing. I think that's gonna be a real pain to kill now. Yeah, I agree. And this is gonna be tough now. I guess you can go. It, if he went into Zard on rocks, that would have been really good as well because yeah, he would have hit at, at one hundred. Catch the ice shard, but you'd still be close enough to fall. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't care that much about just yeah. the one ice shard. It still keeps you out of um, Pyro or Hyper Voice range, which is the main thing. Yeah, exactly. As we see, the game, gold. taking a lot of hazards. Uh, oh, no, no ice shard from Talki. I guess you just want to make sure it doesn't get off a Rain Dance or a Nasty Plot. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's fine. I mean,. I don't think you need to ice her damage for no, any of these rolls. But, um, well, yeah. Did knock the girder. Um. I think the damage would have been nice in the gold up. Uh, yeah, actually, be, you're probably right. I think you can kind of make the assumption that that's not going to be a setup for gold up. As we see the missing. Yeah, you probably should be not ice her then. And now you're struggling into that Zard if you're talky. Yeah, this is. Hmm, I don't know actually. Who's uh, who's favorite at this point? I still think Tubkey should be fine with Pyro. Yeah, probably because that's still monster has beat the Zard, but... which is the biggest problem. Yeah. Um... Even like if it's Scarf Goldak, it could be like annoying. 
Because, yeah, we- like, I don't think it's Devil's Car. Because she has, um, he has person, but. Um, I'm thinking maybe, like, a Scarf Terror Water Golduck could be annoying. That would go crazy Actually, here, I'm not gonna lie. Nine. I feel like if it's Cloud 9, it kind of has to be. Um... Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's almost definitely Scarf. We, we yeah. Yeah. Fish saves the girder, which I think is a good line. 29. I think that was a bad play, because now power, yeah, like, Terra Blast just kills this in two. And if it's Terra Grass... But it, it always killed in two, didn't it? No, yeah, it's so. Terra Blast is like... I oh, think it's like... Rolls it to a KO. Yeah. Oh, it can. Um... So it's going to be kind of annoying, I think. Yeah, but at the same time, if you're a fish, all you really want is some damage on the Pyroar so that you're not so scared of it winning with a Terra Grass. My thing is, like, she doesn't have to Terra, depending on her version Terra, because... Yeah, okay. I think I think Kodak might die in two to Hazard, so, like, it's going to live at one. But if it's, like, Terra Ghost version, I think she just swims. Yeah. Hmm. Like, if you're a fish here, you don't want to get yourself caught in this situation where you've got duck in on Pyroar and then you lose the Terra. Are you just attacking into this Pyroar? As you see the Terra North oh, or Terra on both sides. As I feel like that was a bad Terra fire. Uh, yeah, we yeah I agree. 50-50 on mock verse. Oh no, is it really? I don't think so. No, because uh, yeah. Just always go she just clicks yeah. mock and she wins. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh one game one. Uh Taki. So this is the end of the set here. I feel uh, like Fish should have saved his terror for the gold up. Yeah. I don't think yeah. Pi- or oh, Charizard was the correct line there. I, I get your I get you're not expecting to drop immediately there to the to the Pyroar, but I, I guess it also I depends just, on what terror the yeah. is. I mean you just don't get terror fires or like What does it do? Yeah, I'm not really sure, especially in that instance. Like are you Yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure. I guess you were. Hmm. Yeah, to be honest, like, I, I can't see what the Terrifier Zard is trying to set up there. Because you're not killing the Pyroar back. And I feel like you just. I don't know. Like if it's like Terror, Water, or Goldak, you just go for the win with that. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking as well. I have to assume it's not Terror, Water, Golduck, otherwise, he would have played towards that. Yeah, because like, if you're Terra Water Gold up, you just take the immediate damage onto the uh, Pyroar with your Zard, and then you try and Terra Water and win with that. Because you should, even if it's Terra Grass, Pyroar, you should be killing from there. But I think the issue is like... I don't know, wait, I'm going to call, like... Because I don't know if, um... I think you have to risk hitting Hydro Pump. Yeah. But I think like if you're expecting Terra Grass, um, Pyroar, it's kind of fair to go for the for the Flame Chip so Ice Beam kills. Yeah. Yo, I gotta play my tour game. Peace out. Yeah. Thanks for joining, Judge. Appreciate mm-hmm. it. We'll, uh, we'll we'll call it there then. Right. Um, didn't quite catch it as you came in, but thank you, Gum, for joining us towards the end of that game. Much appreciated. Right. And When's the next one? Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.